While a show business career that spanned six decades would touch many people in the business in and out, Diane Carroll's pioneering and groundbreaking career in so many ways and for so many reasons added to the number and poignancy of many of the tributes people shared about her upon learning of her death at 84. Hollywood stars took to social media to pay tribute to Diane Carroll, who died on October 4, 2019 after a long battle with cancer. With her role as widowed nurse Julia Baker on NBC's Julia, Carol became the first African-American female to star in a non-stereotypical role in her own primetime network series. But beyond that are other groundbreaking achievements that the legend is remembered for. Just before we get into it, don't forget to watch this video to the end and hit the red button to subscribe for 7 years of good luck. Try it, it works! Early Years Carol Diane Johnson was born in the Bronx, New York City on July 17, 1935, to John Johnson, a subway conductor, and Mabel Falk, a nurse. As a child, Carol moved with the family to Harlem, where she grew up and attended music and art high school. Growing up, she got enrolled in dance, singing, and modeling classes. At 15, she was already modeling for Ebony and also began entering television contests, including Arthur Godfrey's talent scouts under the name Diane Carroll. Graduating from high school, she attended New York University with schoolmate Billy D. Williams, but left before graduating to pursue a show business career, promising her family she'd return to college if the career did not materialize after two years. Did she make it? The Big Break Eventually, Carol's turning point came when she participated in the 1954 Dumont television network program Chance of a Lifetime. She emerged as the winner of the show for four weeks. Due to her popularity in this program, she got job offers from the Manhattan Cafe Society and Latin Quarter nightclubs. Acting Career In 1954, she made her first film debut with Carmen Jones in a supporting role as a friend to the sultry lead character played by Dorothy Dandridge, and later featured in The House of Flowers, a Broadway musical by Harold Arlen and Truman Capote. A few years later, she played Clara in the 1959 film version of George Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, with her character's singing parts dubbed by opera singer Lulie Jean Norman. The following year, Carol made a guest appearance in the 1960s series Peter Gunn in the episode Sing a Song of Murder. First Black Woman to Win a Tony Award In the next two years, she starred with Sidney Poitier, Paul Newman, and Joanne Woodward in the 1961 film Paris Blues, and won the 1962 Tony Award for Best Actress, the first time for a black woman for portraying Barbara Woodruff in the Samuel A. Taylor and Richard Rodgers musical No Strings. She got the Academy Award for Best Actress in place of Diana Sands. Twelve years later, she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress for her starring role alongside James Earl Jones in the 1974 film Claudine, which part had been specifically written for actress Diana Sands, who had made guest appearances on Julia as Carol's cousin Sarah. But shortly before filming was to begin, Sands learned she was terminally ill with cancer. Sands attempted to carry on with the role, but as filming began, she became too ill to continue and recommended her friend Carol take over the role. Sands died in September 1973 before the film's release in April 1974 best known for her titular role in TV series Julia. Carol is known for her titular role in the 1968 television series Julia that made her the first African-American actress to star in her own television series who did not play a domestic worker. That role won her the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Television Series for its year and a nomination for an Emmy Award in 1969. In 1984, Carol joined the nighttime soap opera Dynasty as the mixed-race jet-set diva Dominique Devereaux, Blake Carrington's half-sister. Her high-profile role on Dynasty also reunited her with her schoolmate Billy Dee Williams, who briefly played her on-screen husband, Brady Lloyd. Carol remained on the show until 1987, simultaneously making several appearances on its short-lived spin-off, The Colbys, and received her third Emmy nomination in 1989 for the recurring role of Marion Gilbert in A Different World. In 2006, Carol appeared in the television medical drama Grey's Anatomy as Jane Burke, the demanding mother of Dr. Preston Burke. She married four times. Diane Carroll married four times, with first marriage to record producer Monty Kay in 1956. She has a daughter, Suzanne K. Bamford, from this marriage, who became a freelance media journalist. The marriage couldn't stand the test of time and ended in 1962. 
Again, in 1973, she married Fred Gluzman, a Las Vegas boutique owner. After several weeks, she filed for divorce, citing physical abuse. In 1975, Carol married Robert DeLeon, a managing editor of Jet Magazine who was killed in a car crash in 1977. Carol's fourth marriage was to singer Vic Damone in 1987. The union, which Carol admitted was turbulent, had a legal separation in 1991, reconciliation, and divorce in 1996. Last Days Carol was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1997. She said the diagnosis stunned her because there was no family history of breast cancer, and she had always led a healthy lifestyle. She underwent nine weeks of radiation therapy and had been clear for years after the diagnosis. Unfortunately, she died on October 4, 2019 in Los Angeles at age 84. Tribute to a Legend Carol was saluted in a star-studded memorial on November 24, 2019 at the Helen Hayes Theater in New York City, where she was lauded for her trailblazing work in entertainment. Among those paying tribute were Lawrence Fishburne, Felicia Rashad, Vanessa Williams, Lynn Whitfield, Judith Jameson, Valerie Simpson, Lenny Kravitz, Angela Bassett, Cicely Tyson, and Jasmine Guy for showing the world that black people are special, strong, beautiful, and powerful, the name Diana Carroll will continue to live on in the hearts of men. Did we miss any fact in this video? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, do smash the like button and subscribe for more celebrity videos.